Hey, I'm Brandon with Revzilla, and today we are checking out the Held Sambia Pro Gloves available at Revzilla.com. So the Sambia Pro Gloves, these are going to be geared towards the summer riding conditions, warmer weather conditions, I should say. It's going to be a great option for commuters and kind of those sport riders out there that want something low profile, but still giving you an ample amount of protection as well as excellent tactile feel. The uh, the main construction, we have a poly uh, polyester stretch main construction with goat leather as well as kangaroo on the inside of the palm. So a lot going on here, a lot of flexibility. They are incredibly comfortable, but we've got good pieces of protection incorporated into a short cuff style glove. Now before we get going, I did want to take a second and talk about the overall fit. Now I measure just over 8.75 inches around the full circumference of my hand. I typically wear a size 9 or a size large in most of my gloves. A size 9 fits me spot on. So I would certainly say, you know, get your measurements, reference that chart, and you should be all set. These are fitting very much true to size. I also wanted to note that these are available in short and long options. So they're going to increase or decrease in overall length by about five millimeters, depending on which option you choose. Now, keep in mind, these gloves will ship to you for free. They're around $150, and we do have our price match policy in place. That is there to ensure you're getting the best deal around. So make sure you're taking advantage of that. Now, I did want to mention these are coming in around $150. But if you wanted to step it up, they do have the Sambia 2 into 1 option. So if you're looking for a little bit of waterproof capabilities, the Sambia 2 into 1 gives you two different chambers that you can access. So one is going to give you waterproof capabilities, and the other chamber is going to eliminate that waterproof capability. So a little bit interesting uh, of a design, but we've got a, another option within Health Line that has done that before, and it gives you like a Gore-Tex version as well. Um, so I do like the versatility, and if you need that versatility, there is an option for that that does exist. But it's going to be very similar in the overall design minus that two into one option. Now let's talk about some of the uh, materials we've got going on around the wrist. You can see we've got this TPR material that's going to give you a little bit of abrasion resistance, a little bit of impact protection, not much, but it's certainly better than nothing and it is covering that ulna bone which is nice. And then a simple Velcro to get inside of the glove. That's very straightforward. We do have a pull tab right here. It is very low profile. Um, it's kind of a, a, a cute attempt at a pull tab. If I have a, a glove on this hand, it's not really going to allow me to easily pull these on using like, this tab. So maybe stitch in a loop or something like that uh, so we can use that more easily. So uh, not my favorite design there. Now working our way down the hand, I mentioned we have a poly stretch main construction here with some cowhide surrounding the knuckle and then we've got kangaroo on the inside of the palm. But this is a little bit of stretch, gives it a little bit of a relief, a little bit of movement as you're manipulating your controls. Goat leather surrounding this very large knuckle, that is one thing. You're going to get some good airflow moving through this, and we've got some exhaust vents towards the back of the knuckle, so it can get that airflow moving through and keeping you nice and comfy. And as we work our way down the fingers, more of that TPR material just for some added coverage and a little bit more of that soft kind of accordion or poly stretch, if you will, at the fingers, just giving you that movement. Now one thing I do like, on the index finger, you are getting a visor wipe. Always like having that. Personally, I prefer the suede version um, when it comes to a visor wipe because this can take away and be a little bit cumbersome around that index finger, but I certainly prefer having the rubberized version than not having one at all. Swinging over to the edge of the pinky, a lot of held gloves have this additional impact protection incorporated. Certainly not mad about it. I like any additional protection in this area because it is a high uh, impact zone. And then we've got a little touch of super fabric on the tops of the pinkies as well. Now working our way to the inside. This is where that kangaroo leather is going to come into play. Really excellent combination of tactile feel, comfort, and abrasion resistance. I'm a big fan of kangaroo leather. This feels very supple, very, very comfortable to wear all day long on the bike. Touch tech capability, index finger as well as the thumb. Doesn't matter who you are, what manufacturer, if you're producing gloves today, you need to give us the touch tech capability. We're all using our GPS or our phone. So definitely like that I've got that incorporated there. A little bit of additional reinforcement right here at the crook, uh, you know, in between the index finger and the thumb. That's where you're grabbing your bars. It's where a lot of, you know, uh, wear is going to happen. So that's going to help prevent that premature wear in that location. Coverage around the, the pinky, I would like to see that come over a little bit more, but uh, they covered up the seam and that's the most important part since that is that 
that impact zone, that high wear area. And then we've got more of this super fabric towards the base of the palm. I love super fabric. I've crashed with super fabric. It did its job. It's an excellent combination of a little bit of impact protection with the foam material backing it. And then the abrasion resistant is going to allow you to slide easily and comfortably and kind of absorb some of that heat because this is a, another area. You know, if you're coming off the bike, you're putting your hands out in front of you, unfortunately, to brace ourselves for impact. It's just our natural instinct. Might not be the best option for sure if you're trying to brace your whole body, but it is what we do. So I like having the impact protection incorporated in this area. Overall, this glove is incredibly comfortable, good amount of protection. I think for summer riders out there looking for something that's a little bit more on the low profile end of the spectrum, but they want a good amount of protection and airflow, this is going to be a great option with amounts uh, with ample amounts, excuse me, of flexibility and movement, but it's not over the top. It's not going to be quite on par with the Evo Thrux as, as far as the protection goes, but it's not too far behind either. I think it's a great option within Held's line at that $150 price point. But of course, if you're looking for more details, you can click that info button. That's going to take you over to Revzilla.com where you can read other rider reviews. And as always, if you have any questions for us about these gloves or any other gear, please don't hesitate to reach out. Give our gear geeks a call at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot over an email cs at revzilla.com. Thanks for hanging out with us for a bit, taking a closer look at the Held Sambia Pro Gloves. I'm Brandon. Keep it pinned.